You're a big fight fan. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So we're going to talk about Triple G and Canelo? Yeah, I've been bumping into Omar for 20 years now, yeah. you know, all, all over, really. East Coast, West Coast, and yeah, you're a big fight fan. You like Triple G and Canelo. Triple huh? G and Canelo, boy. Ooh, that's the fight. That might that's be the fight the of the fight decade. Right there. That might be the fight of the decade. And I, I expect Canelo to destroy, dude. Period. Really? Destroy it. Destroy. That's so disrespectful. That's not disrespectful. Yes, it is. No, it's not. Destroy it. Because him? all this is the reality. Triple G is not a boxer, he's a fighter. He, on paper, cannot outbox Canelo in any way, shape, fashion, or form. But it's not and if you watch his last two fights, he got touched. He was getting touched. And when you stand there and try to brawl with Triple G is when you get into trouble. Canelo has only gotten better and better every fight since he fought Mayweather. The killer, the Canelo doesn't know how to back up. Yes, he does so know he, how to back up. Well, it's not backing up. Canelo knows how to fight off the ropes. Exactly. So Triple G tries to get you to the ropes, and Canelo's very comfortable there. That's what makes it such a great fight. Right. But Triple G has skills now. He has a lot of boxing skills, yes, just not great defensive skills. But his offensive boxing skills, he knows how to cut off the ring, pinpoint combinations with power, great footwork. His head stays in the middle a little bit. Not that many combinations either. But uh, to me, Well, usually just... it's because after one or two, the fight's over. <laughs> right. right. Canelo's too slick. He's got good head movement. Subtle goes to the body. He has against, combination, against and he's got power in both hands. Against individuals significantly inferior to Triple G. Inferior in what in way? In terms of you moving up to fight Triple G at the middleweight spot, this dude has the power there. He's fighting within his weight division. You had to move up to get to that point. Who did you? I mean, Amir Khan, really? Is that where we're going? James, you know, James Kirkland, really? That's where we're going? Kell Brook coming up to fight Triple G? That where we going? Like, no, no. That, you remember no. James Tony when oh, he fought yeah. the silly Jirov at cruiserweight? That was like the one of the great cruiserweight fights of all time because Jirov was a gold medalist, just wanted to come at you, stay right there so I can get you. And I can work your body. Tony just wanted you to come right at him so we could counter. Exactly. Same sort of thing, but even if Canelo's as good as James Tony, which would be saying a lot, Jirov was no Triple G. This thing is going to be a war from bell to bell. You think? And oh. guess who's going to be covering that fight? This guy right here. And yes, first take is also going to be in Vegas. We got a couple shows out there. Actually, three will be there Thursday and Friday. I might have Friday. to come down to that one. That's right. Just the yeah. start you of our road trip. Yeah. And say that blasphemy you just uttered. <laughs> fight of the year coming up next Saturday night.